today we are going to discuss about the vpc pairing with two cross account using endpoint first in the senior in the scenario we have to do multiple accounts account this is to account a this is account two what we are going to do means in account one, account one we are going to create a one public submit to igw through igw in account two we are going to create a one private subnet through accessing your access to vpc endpoint through s3 the vpc peering we are going to take the private subnet into private public to multiple cross account what is the process we are going to do means first we need to create a one first must we have one account on account two with two c head different c head here then we are going to do create subnet with different availability zones account one and account two this process first we are going to do is first in account one we are going to do a one launch a one public ec2 instance okay now we are going to create a this is this is our account one this name is balaji the region is north california first we are going to create a vpc let me say and the vpc account one next we will for vpc pairing we want to different cid or the number we want to put in vpc account one we are going to do 13.0.0.16 after another account we want to put 14.0.0.16 because in vpc we have same cid and it will won't take so we want to put different cid or value so in account one i am going to put cid here is 13.0.0.0/16 create vpc after i am going to create a subnet okay i am going to create an vpc account one. already i mentioned that np vpc account one this subnet public subnet account to one okay the availability zone is okay i preferring the zone in north california Uh, I put the CID number is thirteen dot zero dot zero dot plus sixteen. Okay, in subnet CID value is thirteen dot zero dot zero one dot zero slash twenty four. Okay, create subnet. Next, I am going to I created a uh, sub. Okay, I created VPC and I created a subnet. Okay, before I clear all those one. I created a VPC account one subnet also. Now I'm going to do IGW subnet gateway for EC2 instance in public zone, public subnet. Okay, I'm going to IGW create IGW. I'm going to create a new IGW. Okay, IGW subnet gateway account one. Create internet gateway. Okay, this one is a detached. We need to attach a VPC. What VPC we created before and the VPC account one attached internet gateway. After I need to mention the route table for internet connection for our EC2 instance. Create route table and the route table for account one. This is my first account. Account one. In route table, I want to select a VPC and the account one. Create route. After process, I need to mention what I created the internet gateway. I attach this one in route table. I need to edit and edit my route. This is for MB route account one. Routes. I need to edit my routes. Routes zero slash sixty. I create internet gateway. Okay, this is IGW account one. Attach the and save. Save and then I need to 
Edit Subnet Association. Or not one. Edit Subnet Association. Okay, I created. I already mentioned the subnet. Subnet one for account one, and it attach the subnet in subnet association. This is the basic process of instance. Instance, I created a internet gateway and attach it to attach it to the subnet also. Mm, now we are going to see the notepad. Okay, I created a VPC one in first account. Okay. Second, I am going to create. Create a second account. Okay. This is our second account. Name is different name. First account is name is is second account. I'm going to create in North Virginia. Okay. Second account. And we we facing. Two. Already I mentioned that one. We have a different CIDR number for VPC peering. If same CIDR number is, it will won't act, give access. So now I am going to create a different CIDR number values. Fourteen. Here I have I have given the thirteen. And second, my second account, my CIDR value is fourteen dot zero dot zero dot zero slash fifteen. Okay, I mentioned I created a VPC. My second account. Next, I'm going to create a uh, in 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 account one. I'm going to create a public subnet. Public in account two. I'm going to create a private subnet one. Private because I'm for a private subnet. I need to take access the VPC S3 through VPC endpoints. So here I'm going to create private subnet. I mentioned the okay, VPC. I will create a MB VPC account two. I mentioned the name on two. Okay, the availability zone is same in like California, in North Virginia. I have given the account is A. The CIDR values I have given here. CIDR is fourteen dot zero dot zero zero slash sixteen. I am going to give fourteen dot zero dot one dot zero slash twenty four. Create subnet. Okay, we created the subnet. Here, what we mentioned is create internet gateway in account one, attach VPC. Okay, and this process we are completed in account one. Uh, create route table account one and edit routes entry internet gateway and associate. We already associated in that one. Okay, route table associated the internet gateway. This is our IGW internet gateway. We are attached it. After create route table account one, entry the associate subnet. We associated also sub we associated public subnet in. Account one route table. Okay, after launch EC2 instance. Okay, we after we are going to instance launch. Okay, in account two, what is the process given in account two? Means create route table for account two and associate private. We don't attach a NAT here. In in account one, we attach the IGW for public instance. But here we don't we are didn't attach any internet for connection in private NAT. Also, we don't attach it. That one. So what they mentioned is to create route table account to associate only private subnet and launch instance launch ET2 private instance. Now I am going to do that one. This is uh, account two here, right? This is my account two. Uh, okay, my subnet is also created route table. Okay, I am going to create a new route table for account to North Virginia. Okay, this is my sorry, our route table. I'm mentioning account two. Account two. I'm selecting a VPC. Or oh, already I created VPC. And B VPC account two. Create route table. Now what we are going to do is associate only private subnet. And B. Okay, this is our subnet. And B. Okay, it's our second subnet. Subnet association. I okay, now I am created a this is setup. I am going to launch in account two. I am going to launch a launch EC two private instance. Going to do after almost I will create a account one EC two instance public. To hmm. open another tab. 
have have no no running instance now i'm going to create a private we if we private instance is not with jirmia okay. launch instance okay this is our the private instance account to to i meant account to i am going to launch aws linux okay mm. i am creating a new key pair i don't have okay i have already have key pair but i am going to create a new key pair what i mention means uh, not virginia okay account to i am going to not virginia account to here Let key pair. Okay, my key pair is downloaded here. Okay, what time? Next time, we will edit network setting to edit this one. Okay, already I mentioned because the only one way this is available here. Account to I have only one subnet. Okay, I need to select this one. Okay, uh, we have public. This is a private, right? This private one we we need to disable the public IP. Disable. Okay. I am going to create a security group. Create a security group. The security group by mentioning the name. Sg upon two. Sg upon two is uh, inbound rules is automatically enabled SSS and to create instance. Instance view all instance. This is our create instance. The data is pending right now. It's pending this one. So I'm going to this one. I completed the account to basic setup. In account one, I need to launch a public instance. Okay, we 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 have to go to account one. This is our account two. Okay, account one here. Okay. Account one not California. Now account one. I have to open a new tab for each instance. Loading in the California also we don't have any instances. Now I'm going to create a public instance for North California. Now. Public public account one account one. Here also I'm going to select Amazon Linux. Okay, T two micro. Okay, T two. I'm going to here I also have available. Key, but I'm going to create a new key pair in California region also. So California account one. I mentioned this one in account one key pair. Create key pair. Okay. After I'm going to do this the same network setting. Edit network setting. Okay. This is the two VPC server. One is the default VPC for AWS V1. But now we have to. I am. I am going to select. I. Uh, we are created this VPC. NB account one VPC created. So we need to select this one. Uh, okay. In that VPC, we create only one subnet. So this is the public subnet account one. Okay. In that second scenario, we second account we disable the public IP. Okay. We need to find first one. We need to launch instance in public. Second, we need to launch instance private. Okay, this one is already we have created. So now we're going to create a public instance in account one. Okay, uh, we need to select enable public IP. We need to must enable enable public IP. Okay, same we are going to create a security group name. I'm going to mention the security group name is account SG account one. Okay, here also is a SSS is inbound rule. Okay, right, it's perfectly okay. Launch instance. This is our account one public public instance. The static is pending. We are going to to second. The static is running now. Two by two check also. Okay, done. Okay, after going to check this. One. Okay, I will create all the mobs. Now we created here yeah, one public instance in account one. Account one we created. Now we created one private instance in account account 
to one of create a private. Now we are going to connect two instances to VPC peering. Two multiple accounts. I'm going to connect this VPC into account one. This is the process. The process. First, we need to go go the account one peering connection. Create VPC peering. Select account ID. Okay. What we are going to do means now. This is our account one. We move on to account one. This is North California. Right, in the account one. Now choose the option VPC peering. VPC peering. Peering connection. Go to peering connection. Create peering connection in account one. I'm going to mention the name. Mr. Bit peering. Where we are going to peering with this account one. We are peering to account two okay after we need to select a uh, local vpc peering with vpc requester we are the requester id account one is the requester vpc id so i'm going to select this one okay i already create my vpc is available here so i'm going to select this one and be vpc account one okay already if you select it means the cdr value is automatically generated here that in the zero zero dot class is our cdr value okay second Another account VPC to peer. Which account we need to peer? It is here we mentioned here my account is the same account we are going to create. No, we are going to create another account. This is our account one. We are peering connection going through this account two, second account. So we need to mention another account. They are what they are saying is an account ID. Okay, now we are going to move to our second account. What is the ID? And this is our second our second ID second account. Uh, this is our my second account account ID. We need to mention here because we are going to take a peering connection to another account. So this is our second account ID. I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to select here. Okay, this is our second ID account ID. Then they were they asking region. We have the second. Account region is same. This North California region or some other region. Okay, we are given the some other region. What is the region we given? We are not Virginia. Okay, not Virginia. This is our uh, what they ask me. Acceptor. Here I am a requester. I am requesting to the account two request ID is account my request ID. Account one request ID. What is this? Acceptor. Acceptor is account two VPC acceptor ID. We need to mention. VP, this is our second account. Uh, we need to check here uh, open the tab. VPC. Go to VPC. Then oh, we already created this VPC in account two and the VPC account two. Uh, what they are asking is VPC ID. This is our VPC ID. Okay, here, here is the VPC ID. We need, I need to copy this one and paste into account one. So VPC ID. I okay, select this copy. I copy this one. I am going to paste in North California. This is my account one region. Uh, what they given in North Virginia East one. This is North Virginia. In here my second account US East one North Virginia. I am going to select North Virginia. What is accept ID? We copy the accept ID. We need to paste here. Create VPC connection. Okay, then back. Okay, we are created a UCP connection. The that it is pending acceptance. We send the request to account two, account one to account two. Um, okay, go to account one. We can create a VPC, create VPC pairing. I will account ID mentioned. We have created. Now we are going to do the go to account two. We on we need to move on to account two. Then going pairing connection. We need to select and accept the request. The request is sent by the account one. So we need to select the request in account two. Okay, this is my account one. I'm going to move to account two. Okay, this not business my account two. Or there is maybe PC connection. So we are in this category. The request we need to accept the request. Select this one. Select. Then go to actions. Accept request. The request provides name. 
okay we need to check this one in the account one okay static active in account two Okay, in North California, my account one the status also the VPC connection established in between the two accounts. We have done by we have done this completed account one account two the VPC is established. In account one, we request we request request to the account two to the accept that request. So we connection has been established. The VPC connection has been established to both accounts, different different multiple accounts. Okay. Now what can we do means we need to edit the route. Okay. Now what we are going to do means move on to account one route table. We need to mention the route table and give the accounts CID or what is the CID number. Okay. We need to give the the variation in okay. the process. Okay. We are going to move the account one. Account one, this is account route table. We need to modify the route table because of the peering connection established in this account two. Here, we need to mention in route table. Edit routes, routes. Okay, I'm going to edit this route one. Uh, okay, I already in the ICW. This is account one. I'm going to do add route. What is our CADR value in account two? Okay, we need to check one. This is our account one CIDR value thirteen zero zero dot zero. The connection has been. This is I request to the the third. Okay, in account two, this is our account one at California. I need to check the CIDR value is fourteen dot zero dot zero dot zero slash sixteen. I am going to uh, put the CIDR value is account one. Account one fourteen dot zero dot zero dot zero. Slash 15. I mentioned this one in control. Okay, going to this one peering connection. Okay, this is the peering connection. If you selected this one, means what is the connection availability? Okay, I created this one and peering to account two. You need to mention this peering connection ID here. Route table. Must save changes. Okay, the changes has been done in account one. Okay, now. Okay, now the first project completed. Account one edit route table. We completed the peering connection theory. Same way we have to create two way. This is the one way communication. In account two we can access the account one full permission. Now we are going to do go to account two. Same uh, first we create we mentioned the account two ID in account one CIDR value. Now we are going to mention go we move on to account two. Then we give the route CIDR value account one for account one. Okay, then we will move on to the account two. This is our North Virginia. So this is our account two. I need to edit the routes. Uh, we created this one route table account two. Actions. Edit main. Edit edit routes. Edit routes. Okay, here this account is a private one. I didn't mention any NAT or gateway or so yeah. This is the CID value of the account two. Okay, now I'm going to check this one account one. Account one CIDR value is thirteen dot zero dot zero dot slash. I am going to mention the CIDR value in account two route table. And the what we are mentioning is thirteen dot zero dot zero dot zero slash sixteen. Peering connection. Ah, uh, this is our peering ID. We need to do changes. Okay, the process has been completed. Now, peering connection is established in two accounts. The peering is completely established. Now we can access in access the private instance through another account public subnet. Okay, now we can access this one. I'm going to do this. Hmm. I'm going to. Open AC2 console. This is my account one of California. I need to connect connect the instance. AC2 uh, instance connect connect. Okay, there is connect connecting 
establishing connectivity. Now wait for a few minutes. Okay, this is our account one CIDR. We log into account one into AWS. So now I'm going to make a switch for user sudo space plus u. Okay, what I'm going to do means I uh, I'm going to connect the public private. I'm going to connect the private subnet into account one public subnet. I'm going to connect this one. So I need a key. We already downloaded a key. What is the key downloader? This is our account to key. What is, I'm going to copy this old key, copy this one. Okay, I'm going to create a one folder. Directly, I'm going to create key dot key. I'm I'm going to paste this account to pin pin key. Okay. Let's save this one. Okay, I'm going to check this key is available or not. Get key dot. The key is available. Uh, for uh, account to to connect. Now uh, there's this ch mod command 400. Uh, this is the file permission. Permission so ch mod. 400 the file permissions may have been changed into 400 only reading permission after this is our access ID I'm going to copy this one paste into account TA not California account TA okay okay I mentioned the key name is key dot key here Oh, so I'm going to remove this one and mention to key dot key. Key dot key. Yes, we have to go into here. Yes. Okay, this is uh, this is account one CIDR value thirteen dot zero dot zero slash fourteen. This is the account to CIDR value of 14.0.0 slash session. The, the VPC peering connection has been perfectly uh, perfectly okay. After I am okay, clear this one. Okay. The peering connection, the setup is completed. The peering connection in pub in private subnet, we are going to create a one S3 bucket. In S3 bucket, we can access through the VPC. Endpoint on VPC public link, both are same. VPC public link or VPC endpoints are both are same. We are going to access through privately interconnection between. Now, after we can access to the account one. Account one, we can access to this private instance S3. Okay. Uh, here. I'm okay. So now we have to create a private instance. Private one. Okay, we have to we to move to account two. We need to create a one S3 bucket. Before we are we are going to create create one role for S3 full access for account. Two. We need to create a one role in account two. Uh, the role permission is the S3 full access and attach the private attach the role to the private instance of account two. Then only the private instance get full access of account two. Okay, now we can show. Okay, this is our account too. Now we have to check our accesses here or at W three ls. Here what they are showing is unable to locate credentials. You can configure credentials by using AW configured. But here we don't have any credentials. So now I'm going to put the I'm going to create a role, one role and give the full access to the private instance, full access to private instance of account two. Okay, we move on to the account to so our account to North California. We want to account to is Virginia. Mm. Okay, we need to search IAM role. IAM role. Okay, 
okay in role we need to select a roles roles after i'm going to create a role create a new role for a private instance account to okay aws service i have to create a aws service uh, what is the way of it i'm going to use the not lambda i'm going to use ec2 common use cases i'm going to common use ec2 instance aws service on your bio okay i'm going to go next step. Here the what policy we need this one what policy i am going to give me is the f3 three policy f3 full access this the policy um, f3 i am going to set this one f3 okay this is our policy s3 s3 full access aws s3 full access then next i am next is the role name I need to mention a role name is S three S three full access to S three full access to private instance description. Oh, okay, this will be of our party. Okay, our policy we mentioned the policy in AWS S3 full active. Uh, create role. Our role is creating. The creating the role and the full active private instance. Okay, successfully we have created the role. All of S3 created view role. Mm. I am role. I am roles. Okay, we created this role. Mm. S3, we have created this one is S3, or we have created this one S3 full access to private uh, after our role is created. Okay, what mentioned means attach, uh, attach the role to private instance of account 2. We need to uh, attach the role for private instance. Okay, and now we are going to attach the role. Private instance PC2. In instance, we have this is the power private instance in account one and be private instance in account two. Account two. I'm going to attach the role in account two private instance. I'm going to security modify I am role modify I am role. After oh, what we create, we need to search S3 for access to private. We have created before the this role S3 for access to private. I'm going to mention this role update I am role. Now the private instance can access the full access to IAM role. Uh, okay, we can check here. So this is our launch. Okay, now I'm going to do AWS S3. Okay, before okay, before we mentioned the error is the unable to locate the credentials, but now we mentioned this one. The credential has been accepted, but there is loading because the in the private we didn't mention any NAT or any internet gateway. Mm -hmm. So we mentioned this one. The credential is accepted, but not opening because we don't need that any private subnet. Here we mentioned the AWS S3 LS. Our credential has been accepted, but it's not loading. Okay. Mm -hmm. What we are going to do is create one S3 bucket and upload sample files in S3 in account 2. We want to create account 2 S3 file. I'm going to check this one, which if it is working or not. Okay. Mm. Now we need to move on the account 2 is not California. Uh, search S3. S3. This is our S3 bucket. Okay, in S3 bucket, already I have an account. I'm going to delete this one. Okay, I'm going to create a bucket, new bucket. The bucket name is very unique. Unique name is bucket. Uh, it was 13, 14. I'm going to uh, 13, 14. This is the same way globally. Okay, we have to create the region now. This nation. Create bucket. 
in bucket name we need to give a unique bucket name unique name it will be as it's already exit it will not accept okay, i am created a new bucket i want to put a, some sample files in that bucket mm. upload i need to upload some files add files okay, i am going to this file and going to add this one add and upload i upload some sample files the sample file is 2.2 kb the file has been uploaded successfully okay so it so is done okay i upload also some uh, sample files as the bucket now we are we are created a s3 bucket and uh, giving the full access to the private subnet okay. now we need to create a vpc endpoint aws vpc now we are going to create a vpc endpoint in account 2 uh, because the ec2 instance connection to the private connection to vpc endpoint i am going to connect this s3 bucket to access Triple F six. Okay, I'm going to get the endpoint in the result of endpoint. Uh, create endpoint. I'm going to the AWS private link. It down is called as UPC endpoint. This is the new link, the VPC endpoint, uh, AWS service. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I wait, wait. S3. Here I mentioned the S3. I searched this one. I'm going to do S interface. Interface. I'm to select this one. Here is this one S3 interface. Uh, okay, uh, this is VPC. I think it is our NB VPC account too. Uh, okay, it is available this one in, in, v, in VPC. The only one uh, subnet is available. So, we have one have to select this one. Which subnet? I went to choose this one. I uh, created only one subnet NB subnet. This is the private subnet account. Create a subnet. Uh, I'm going to set to security group. In endpoint security, I'm going to default security group. Mention default security group. Get full access to create endpoint. The endpoint is create status endpoint where status is pending. The status is pending. Before we are going to check the security group, I want to little modification. I mentioned the default security group in VPC endpoint. Uh, and I did inbound rules. We must need to give the rules of all traffic. All traffic anywhere. I'm going to delete from in security and in inbound rules for VPC endpoints. We have to mention the all traffic save rules. Okay, now I'm going to set the P endpoint connection status is still pending. Okay, we created the endpoints in S3 upon 2. Now we want to check the peering and endpoint. Uh, okay, I'm going to remove this whole diagram. Okay, we are created all those one. Okay, while the endpoint is creating, the defaultly it will create a one ENI, ENI network interface. We have to check this one if it is created or not. Default by default. As a network interface, this is security group. So, we are given this VPC. This is our instance ID. Instance, we created the instance on default interface. This is a VPC interface. We created on VPC endpoint. The VPC ENI is VPC endpoint. We created 
mention the account to dns name if the account to dns name i am going to copy this here and paste into here paste okay, okay the star i am going to be put this star you need to check the region the region in account to us is to one or not we need to check we are in california if the region is okay we don't want this region in account to we need to check us is to one okay i'm going to check this one us is to okay it is the same region us is to one so we have no problem to edit this one i'm going to this aws s3 ls i mentioned already I copy this one i need to put endpoint dns so i provide the input account to dns here and now i'm going to find the command okay it's working now before we check this one the it is not open but now we mentioned aws s3 is an icon i am going to dns name i now come to vpc dns name i mentioned the list is bucket has been nb dot dating dot okay we created here and created in s3 bucket Next three bucket. It's a NB. We created this one here. Yeah. The private connection has been installed without using the NAT. The private connection. Has been. So I want to go or create the some files also. We can create here. Let's see lift object command. That's the setup is complete. Uh, now, now we are not on to one. We taken the public subnet. Now okay, we have taken this one. The private we have taken the private connection into EC2 instance one. We access the private instance the S3 through public AWS private and AWS private endpoint. Okay, the nodes has been provided. This node has been provided into GitHub. You can check the GitHub. I will provide the link here. 
uh, github link in the description okay thank you